On bottom lane, we see Kayo and Jutton being very aggressive, as they always are. Immaculate being Jutton, as currently his main account is screwed up. Oh, Anko pulling Kayo in and getting sorry for Kate killed by the gank. You do not want Kayo to get close to you, especially not as Creed, and Kayo just making them pay for that. See Raijion bullying Azazen around in mid lane, just out pushing him quite strongly. In top lane. Oh, there goes Jutton killing Aonko with a very classic Jutton Kayo behind the tower gank. They have been doing that for three tournaments now, and it always works. Sorry for Cake asking how 180 auto attack damage is possible. I am not sure either, but that was probably an ability. Or a crit. <laughs> Apparently, Jutton does have crit on his Tatiana. I don't get it either, but there it is. Immaculate getting grabbed, going in. Sorry for Cake paying for that again. <laughs> As Kaio and Jutton are just gonna obliterate me. And you just don't want to get Kaio close to you, as Kaio is demonstrating right now. Every time Aanko pulls him, sorry for Cake dies. This Kaio running off after Aanko, snaring him there. Going to get the stun off. There go all the skills. Aanko in some serious trouble, but is going to get away. Kaio and Jut playing very aggressively as they want to do, and there's hardly any need to look at the other lanes. All the action right now being on that bottom lane. I'm really curious to see what that Kavashir is going to do. Kavashir generally not being very popular or useful for anything. It's always hard to say with Team Alias because they might just be trolling. Alias typically being a very confident team, very sure in their abilities. There's another behind the tower gank, Kaio killing sorry for Kate yet again. Jutton in trouble. Get away. He, he's going to get away. Probably just fine with that heal potion to saving him, but Kaio chasing Ayanko around, going to have to back off. He doesn't have the damage to kill Ayanko right now. Not a lot of action in the other lanes. Raijion is pushing very strongly, but he is facing a Vezin, and that can make the lane hard to push. Getting a little damage in on the tower before Azus is teleported back. Meanwhile, up top, Nathalp and Cheetah are just holding against Acidburn and Sorenzi. Sorenzi slightly underleveled because he keeps getting driven off. But the real action right now is definitely on bottom lane. Raijian has picked up a kill in mid at some point. I do not remember that. There goes Kaio and Immaculate going in. And not getting anything. Apparently they're going after Sorry for Cake. Kaio eating the tower shots and just destroying Sorry for Cake. Just right under the tower like the tower doesn't exist. Kaio definitely wants a piece of I and Co and they're going to go in. Not quite able to get the finisher though. Oh, there's the ultimate. Not going to get it though. Aonko is going to have another close call. Sorry for Cake, it's just getting bullied on this bottom lane. It's repeatedly destroyed by Kyle and Jutton. Kyle and Jutton doing what they do best. 
Top lane getting pushed a little bit. Nath Alp and Cheetah just poking at some people. Raijian killing creeps, doing what Nethu just does. Not a lot of action in those other two lanes. Almost all of it's on bottom lane. Sorry for Cake backing way the heck off, seeing Kayo and Jutton back in lane. Kayo going in, not going to get it. Going to get the stun, I'm sorry for Cake. They might, they, then, nope. Just barely saved by Anko. They will get him next time, though. As is in commenting on the poll, maybe he's paying some attention to his own lane. But he, in fact, is as he's starting to outlevel the Raijion right now. A bit of a surprise. To be honest, though, most of this team runs on Kaio and Jutton, and we're definitely seeing the two of them get the crap farm. You see, sorry for Cake Bounty down to 110 gold. That's less than a creep wave right now. And Ko going ahead and pulling Kaio in. Kaio getting comboed. He's probably going to die. No, nope, he's no. just going to get away. Jutton in some trouble, though. Kayo getting chased, Kayo getting grabbed, and Kayo getting Nice grab by Anko. And now Kayo is probably slightly upset. Things will get interesting. As is in going after Jutton, going to get the kill. And now we're probably going to see Team Alias really start to pick up. Bottom tower taking some damage from Anko and sorry for Cake. Kyle and Justin behind them. coming from behind. And Kyle's just going to miss everything, but sorry for Cake, it's just out of it. Bounty down to 94 gold. Meanwhile, on top we have a gank coming in. Cheetah going after Acidburn and Sorenzi. Raijion coming up. So is Nathalp. Acid burn taking tons of damage, but as isn't going and getting the ultimate there. Soren Z just throwing down the heal on Acid Burn. Acid Burn practically back to full health already. Bottom tower is going down. Kayo and Jut beating up bottom tower. Ayanko just maxing out those bear boots to get as much hit points as possible. Kyo and Jutton looking for some ganking. And it looks like they're going to find it, but not in bottom lane. It looks like they want a piece of Azza's in. And they're getting set up to make a run on him when Raijion engages. Unfortunately, it looks like bottom lane's copped onto an Anko looking around for them. Anko out of position. Far away from help. Kayo getting stunned, and they're going to get away. Tatiana just dealing so much Top damage with MIA. that combo. Top is MIA. Going down. Kayo taking out Anko. 
Jutton back, but Jutton going down to acid burn. Sorry, Kate going down. Kayo. Kayo just striking things. At this point, I hardly think we need to say that sorry for Cake is going down. <laughs> Every time Kayo looks at him, he dies. <gasps> Kayo just really having his number. <laughs> Kayo destroying a ward and getting ganked by four people. Using his ult to get away. Acid burn going around busting up totems. Shot at by creeps. I'm a bit surprised we haven't seen a bit more aggression from Kaya's team, actually. They're usually hyper aggressive. And while Kaio and Jutton are certainly fitting the bill, the rest of the team is fairly cautious. And Code has no idea that Kaio is there. And there's Jutton in behind him with the combo, more than likely. Not going to get him, though, as Anko is going to ult to get away. That ult immunity to crowd control is very powerful. Kaio going ahead and st stunning Acid Burn, but nothing coming of that. Sorry for Cake up there destroying a ward. Getting stunned and comboed by many things, but it's not going to die. Meanwhile, we see on top lane, Cheetah and Nathalp just continuing to push that lane like absolutely nothing is going on. Acid Burn taking a lot of damage. Acid Burn going down the Jut. Getting picked out of that five man group and just. Annihilated. Meanwhile, on top lane, Nathalp and Cheeto are just destroying that tower. There's no opposition. Team Alias showing they can definitely hold off 3v5. And in the meantime, this gives Cheeto and Nathalp time to just murder that tower. Anko trying to swing for that tower, not hitting anybody. Nathalp and Cheeto coming down. Sorry for cake. Getting high up. Not really doing too much damage for him. No doubt seeking a little bit of revenge after what happened. Nope. Still 0 06 and 1. Three on top lane. Looks like they want a piece of Cheetah and Nathalp. But on bottom lane, here we go with Sorry for Cake, again, going down to Chun and Kaio. <laughs> He's gotta be getting pissed off right now. now. Kaio and Jutton want something in mid. Probably going up to help Ryzeon. Kaio and Jutton actually somewhat lower level than their counterparts in Seagull Brotherhood, who are mostly level 10. Well, Kaio isn't, but Jutton is. Is Soren Z. Real bad habit of getting stuck by himself as he's gonna pay for that. Going down to Kaio. As is in dropping his ultimate. Jutton taking a lot of damage. Raijion in there to cover with his ultimate. A lot of damage distributed there to Team Alias. Unfortunately, Steel Brother is not gonna get any kills out of it though. Sorry for Kate going down again. By Cheetah. Cheetah. Kavish here proving he does have some teeth after all. There's the grab just missing everybody. Though quite narrowly.
more playing around in mid here. It looks like they have four in mid. Meanwhile, Kaio is going to go on bottom and kill him some creeps. Which he does. Sorry for Cake and Sorenzi are going down and get distracted by a ward. Sorry for Cake attacking that ward and he's about to get royally messed up by Kaio. There's Jutton getting the kill. Sorenzi out of position and Ko trying to go in but getting stunned by Jutton. He is just going to run away. Sorenzi getting stuck in Nathalp's ultimate. Sorenzi is going to go down. Azizen has to go back as he is low on mana and it looks like mid tower is going to get pushed. With Cheetah, Raijion, Kaio, and Nathalp all hitting the tower. Cheetah actually chasing off Ayanko, who probably has no idea what Kavashir even does. He's so rare in tournaments these days. Even in regular play. Kaio using his ultimate to go up there and eat him some creeps. I do not keep a few of those too. Alright, Gion fighting some creeps, putting the ward down. Meanwhile, on the bottom, we have three people fighting four, or five, all five actually. One of Alias's major strengths is their ability to hold off a larger number of players. And that's definitely been a factor in this match so far with pushing down that top tower, and even the mid tower as well, is that they can just fight outnumbered and consistently do well. Is Cheetah about to put that to the test? Sorry for Cake. Going down. Again. There he goes. Soren Z is going to go with him. And Ko grabbing Kaio and immediately running away. I'm going to guess with the team composition they have, that Kavashir is there strictly for all the damage over time effects they have. Vesna's signature, Nethergist's ultimate, Tatiana's signature, and ultimate. Is Cheetah getting pulled? That's not going to do much. And all those damage over time effects will make Cheetah's ultimate just proc like crazy. It was a conceptual team comp back when Kavashir first came out, but nobody's really had the coordination to pull it off. I think that Team Alias might actually be able to do it. Alias gathered in the jungle. Not sure what they're up to. Jutton going back. Meanwhile, Seal Brotherhood just clustering up at that turret. They're just afraid to come out. Sorry for cake on them again. <laughs> Kaio, Cheetah, and Jutton all going for it. There's the stun, and goodbye, sorry for cake. Sorry, but you have no cake. And Ko going in for a pull, getting a creep. Raijion coming in behind them, not quite wanting to go in right there. There he goes, there's Raijion going in with the silence. <laughs> sorry for cake, are you guys taking me out for pull? As is in, getting pulled to safety. Actually picking off Kaio there with his Q. Kaio probably not too happy about that. Gold advantage is firmly in the hands of Team Alias with a 13,000 gold advantage. This early in the game, that's practically insurmountable. We're fighting in mid lane here. 
And Ko getting caught out. Going to get cleansed. Happy burn getting caught out. Ooh, that looked like it's done. Nath out getting pulled in under the tower. Dropping his ult. There goes Raijian just pulling everyone right into Vezin's ultimate. And there goes everything. Raijian getting taken out by a turret. But that turret is not long for this world. Only Naria surviving that epic disaster going on in there. Very beautiful signature by Raijian just pushing everybody into there. Cheetah dropping his signature, healing up and becoming invulnerable. Just to finish killing that turret. Now he's going to have to run away. When he comes out of that signature, he's not going to have any health. As Steel Brotherhood comes up, Team Alias backs off. Close call. This is the sort of thing I was expecting in some of the earlier matches, as we just see Team Alias just running away with this. Sorry for kick down again. Takayo again. Soren Z taking a lot of fire. Soren Z is going to go get taken out by Cheetah. <laughs> Sorry for kick commenting on his status. He is delicious fruit for Team Alias. And indeed, he is being 0 and 13. I feel bad for him. But he happens to be a squishy fighting a team full of gankers. And that Acropolis is not long for this world. Very nice signature by Jutton. There's the ultimate. And there's AoE Hell. Everybody going down. And that is game. That is AOE hell, ladies and gentlemen, in its purest form. Mercy Lago getting a shot out from Nathal. And well. that's game. One of two. Or possibly three. You never know.